recently we made a D20 dice with national park logos all over it and thought it would be fun to roll the dice and see what it landed on. And that is where we are going to go on our next adventure. We are going to the Rocky Mountains! Yay! Good morning, sort of, <laughs> had a rough middle of the night. Um, this is gonna be a little gross TMI, just a warning, heads up, so if you're eating, you may wanna pause the video, finish eating, and then come back, or fast forward a little bit. Um, anyway, it must have been about 2, 2.30 in the morning, I rolled over and I put my hand in something wet and squishy. First thing I thought of was, oh my God, my dog shit the bed. But I couldn't smell anything. Although my smell has been off for a while because I was sick several weeks ago and I lost my sense of smell. It happens, it sucked. I'm gonna sit down, get comfortable for all this. Um, so anyway, I panicked, turned the light on. Poor Pete, I am so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I'm freaking out. It turned out to be a code V. And if you don't know what that means, that means vomit. And it wasn't in just one place. It was like three spots all on top of me on the bed. <sighs> okay. So I get up stumble my way to the bathroom because I'm half asleep, get towels, and I try my best to clean it up, but I have a very, very sensitive stomach gag. Yeah, I don't do puke very well. It makes me puke, but I was trying really hard not to. Just try to be strong while I'm trying to clean up this mess. Uh, I should have stopped and went to the bathroom because I didn't realize my bladder was full. I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is embarrassing. Anyway, I, I mm, gagged a little, peed my pants, tiny bit. I know, grown ass adult, peed your pants. Mm, I was mad. <laughs> so now I have that to clean up. <sighs> Gosh dang it the joys of travel. But you know, these are memories we're gonna look back on later in life and just laugh. So anyway, I got the bed all cleaned up and thankfully we had two beds in this room. Um, but yeah, as I was cleaning up and taking stuff into the bathroom and putting it into the, the tub, I got sick, but thankfully I was able to make it into the toilet. <laughs> so I didn't have to clean up yet another pile of Code V. <laughs> So that was my morning, 2.30 this morning, cleaning up dog yak, my pee, and <laughs> good times, good morning. Um, I'm going to uh, hang out here for a little bit. I have some personal things I need to take care of for business on my computer, and then I'm going to go get hotel breakfast because I'm hungry, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, this one needs to go outside for her morning potty walk. She was a good girl and used her pee pad. Yay! You couldn't have done that, you know, in your code V, you couldn't have done on the pee pad. That would have been nice. No, I had to do it all over the bed on top of me. Thankfully, I was covered up. Oh, otherwise, I'd be wearing it and I'd have to take a second shower. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna take care of some business and then um, go get hotel breakfast. Sorry about the nastiness. We are all checked out of the hotel here in Boise, Idaho. I don't know if I said it earlier, but today is Monday, May 15th, 2023. And the plan for today is to leave Boise and head towards Craters of the Moon. I'm excited. We've never been there before and I've always wanted to check it out. So this will be really neat.
it is a two cup of coffee kind of day and you know what I think this is now my new favorite go-to road trip coffee it's wonderful it'd be even better if it was cold but I'm not complaining it was delicious we have about half an hour until we're at craters of the moon are you excited I'm excited the caves are closed right now but even if they were open we wouldn't be able to do it because we have the dog and dogs are not allowed inside so we may have to make a trip here in a different season without the dog so we could see some different things sorry shorty I want to do as many adventures as we can with the dog I want to give her the best dog life ever so right now our life is her life, and I wouldn't have it any other way. We just left Craters of the Moon, and that was beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the drive through footage. We are now on our way to West Yellowstone. Um, it's about a three hour drive. I forgot the mileage that you just told me. 193 miles mm -hmm. that's where we're gonna be staying for the night and if we have some time if there's still plenty of daylight which I'm pretty sure there will be because it's only 1230 just barely afternoon um, we should definitely be able to drive through part of Yellowstone today and then we'll do some more in the next vlog tomorrow for us oh I'm excited I've never been to Yellowstone so that's in Wyoming correct correct never been to Wyoming so this is a whole new state whole new adventure oh, I'm stoked yay <laughs> how you doing little girl she's been sleeping a lot a little bit jealous I tried to sleep it just didn't work the highway and we saw a sign for Yellowstone Bear World and apparently it's a drive through adventure so we're going to check it out
the bug guts. <laughs> There's some deer. Shorty, look, deer. Oh, deer. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, you are so pretty. Hi, babies. You, oh, I, I think she saw it. Are you starting to see him now, Shorty? <laughs> This is the side with the bears. Oh, oh, they're so precious. Shorty, there's bears. Shorty, look. Look out the window. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, so cute. Hi. You're so adorable. Gosh, yes. Look at you. Shorty, Shorty, look. Is that? <laughs> oh my god, do you see the bear in the tree? That one over there? Nope, we just passed it. My camera didn't catch it. Sorry, guys. It's behind us now. Hmm. On the other side. I just saw a big, big old black bear back that way. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm glad you saw that sign. <laughs> oh, adorable. He's scratching his balls. Look. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Was that necessary? <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble from YouTube. <laughs> Holy forking shirt balls. Shit. Just go slow. Just go slow. Okay. Hi buddy. Just keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so fun. It's definitely like wildlife safari. Um, Where that, was that bear in the tree? It was... Right there. Right there, yeah. I don't know if I can get it. Because I'm using a GoPro so you can't really zoom. That straight ahead is a bear laying up in a tree. <laughs> There's the black bear I, was, oh. I saw earlier. There he is. There's another one over there who's hanging out. I'm really surprised that Shorty just has no... No farts to give. <laughs> She's just snapping away. Occasionally whining because I say her name. Wow.
these two are kind of going at it. Just napping in that little hole. There's a cuddle puddle under there. <laughs> like three or four of them just piled on top of each other. God, they're so many. They're adorable. Swing wide around you. <laughs> Lots of poop. <laughs> go anywhere to ask the question this is the place the bear shit in the woods uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is yes because it's everywhere <laughs> This is probably going to be a long vlog today because we're seeing some pretty epic stuff. Wasn't planning on this, but oh my god, I'm glad we did it. I have a childhood memory of wildlife safari. Uh, my mom, she's an idiot, or was an idiot. <laughs> sorry, mom. I'm so sorry I said that. But uh, they told us, do not roll your windows down, do not stop. She just had to get a picture of an ostrich. That dang thing, I remember I was in the back seat, young child. I remember it clear as day. She rolls the window down, takes the picture, and this ostrich puts its head in, pecks the seat, and I freaked out. I'm screaming. <laughs> Good times. so much fun oh my gosh amazing I absolutely loved the petting zoo area getting to see goats up close and personal like that that was so cool in one mile turn right on west 5200 south <laughs> it's 75 miles to our hotel that we're staying at in Wyoming so I think we're gonna venture there check in maybe unload the car grab some lunch and go into Yellowstone, depending on the time. Yeah.
Montana and I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. Holy smokes, I thought it went straight from Idaho into Wyoming, but apparently we go through a little part of Montana before we get to Wyoming. That's so cool, I've never been to Montana. So we're checking off another state. When we get back on the way home, towards the last part of the trip, we're going to stop at the um, visitor center in Twin Falls, Idaho and pick up the state magnets for the states that we have visited that we don't have yet. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're not going to go to the hotel just yet. We're going to go straight to Yellowstone and then we'll go to the hotel and figure out dinner and all that stuff. The next stop will be Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone. When you enter, you're in Montana. And then just a short little drive in, you enter into Wyoming. So we are now in Wyoming. What do you look? Mm -hmm. What cute little babies. Oh. This is exciting. Shorty, do you see him? Look out the window. Shorty. Guys, we're not supposed to stop. Look out the window, Shorty. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's licking his nose. Uh.
I'm on my way out to see Old Faithful. Pete went into the visitor center real quick to see if they have the little token coins that he collects and the Bark Ranger. They do have the Bark Ranger, but it's in the general store, which just closed. But we are coming back through here tomorrow for us. Next vlog for you guys, so we'll get it then. gonna do it from Yellowstone for today like I said we are gonna be back through here in the next vlog we're gonna head to the uh, hotel for the night get some dinner clean up and relax we're back in Montana at our hotel for the night we are staying at the city center motel I'm not gonna do well I guess I can do a room tour this is pretty much it it's teeny tiny that bed is gorgeous like that. So we got a, a fridge, coffee pot, TV. It's very small. Table, mirror. Uh, the bathroom's nice size. I love this floor. That's pretty cute. So there it is. Oh, I just hit the doorknob. That hurt. Not too bad. Not too bad for one night. Uh, this was paid for with. Alaska Airlines miles, so I can't complain. It didn't cost us anything. Awesome. And for those of you wondering, I did do a check. I brought a black light flashlight and I checked because I don't want bed bugs. That would be so gross. <sighs> Pete is going up the road. He found a McDonald's. That's pretty much the only thing open right now because it is. 7 30 p.m. So we're gonna eat McDonald's, which is not my favorite thing, but it's food. And then we're gonna clean up and relax. So I think I'll just end the vlog here. Let me go in here where there's better lighting. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us today at Craters of the Moon. That was amazing. And then Yellowstone. Oh my god, that was fun. Can't wait to do it all again in the next vlog and more. So tomorrow for us, we are going back through Yellowstone to go through to the Grand Tetons. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. And we're gonna make a quick stop at the visitors at our gift shop so we can get Shorty uh, the Bark Ranger, do the Bark Ranger program and get her tag for Yellowstone to add to her collection. That'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, Thank you for watching and joining us today. I hope you're enjoying the travel vlogs as much as I am. This is so awesome and fun, much needed getaway. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.